Peggy 18. first time the PS Vita really provided a mobile platform that was capable of really offering a proper FPS experience. It was new hardware for us and we thought there's no way we can get the full Killzone experience onto it. But as the project's gone on we've realised hey we can get basically everything in this. Getting the tech over, making sure everything looks amazing, runs perfectly. Fortunately the Vita is very powerful and because we've taken across the Killzone engine we can actually really push and, and, and develop the graphics and get the fidelity that we, we need to make it live within the family of Killzone games. It's uh, pretty surprising how much detail you can make out on the screen, even if you think it's just a handheld. The screen's pretty big and, and really clear, so when you're holding it that close, in some ways it's the equivalent to sitting, you know, 10 feet away from a, a TV screen. You assume that you can barely make out any of the little fine details, but you really can. It's uh, still a really high definition platform. There's an intro to one of the missions that sees you dive in and on a kind of wingsuit. It looks pretty impressive, but it's even more impressive when you tell people they can look around. And a lot of people didn't realize, they just thought it was a movie. And as soon as like, Press left and right, and right and right. Whoa, no way, that's in game. And then it was kind of like that was the moment you could see people were like, oh, wow, this is impressive. Like, we've not seen this before on the Vita. I think the, the handheld platform really allowed us to look at the underlying structure of the Killzone game and uh, reimagine it as an experience that can be played anywhere, anytime, and kind of in any way. You can play really short bursts of the game and put it down and come back to it later. You can play multiplayer on the move, just over Wi-Fi. We were trying to offer um, something that people could just pick up and play with that kind of immediacy that you don't always get with a home console game. Get rich and get out. The other thing that I was really interested in maintaining was the, the feel of Killzone. It actually touches the, the, the kind of standard Killzone feeling of, of being a heavy weighty shooter. So that went through the controls, the animations, obviously the two dual analogue sticks made a big difference. It's a first handheld with dual sticks. The fact that you can actually have a proper console experience on the Vita is everything. <laughs> you can actually get really fine aim adjustments by tilting the Vita ever so slightly. So lining up that perfect headshot. If you're not great with the sticks, you can actually use the device itself just to get that. The button setup is great for a first person shooter. We've obviously leveraged some of the touch elements in where appropriate. We have the brutal melee system now, which rather than just being a button press, it will now put you and the guy that you're attacking into a synced animation and you'll then have a window to put the gesture in on the touch screen to... You can really see it feels like Killzone, it looks like Killzone, plays like Killzone. Quite simple really, the PS Vita is such an amazing piece of kit. Killzone is a perfect title to bring over to it. We can really do Killzone justice on the Vita. Now kick back and enjoy the show.